Hey Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rise, and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Period. Today's topic is Valentine's Day weekend and Valentine's Day, okay? What's going to be taking place, what to expect. Remember that this could play out past, present, or future from whenever you're seeing this, okay? I want to say that this is a collective reading and it may or may not resonate with you fully. All right, you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I want to say thank you so very much for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel is greatly appreciated. So let's delve into it. First, I'm going to pull some words and phrases to kind of get the overall energy of this read. What's the overall energy of this read for Taurus? Someone a rising spirit, please, and thank you. That's it. Let me get, let me get just a few more. Okay. So, honesty. We have birth. So, I already see right off the bat, it's some honesty here about the birth of something new. Could be a child, but could be, you know, like I said, the birth of something new. Here we have simplicity. So, this could be the birth of simpler things coming your way when it comes to relationships. We also have communication. I feel like somebody could be coming towards you to communicate with you honestly, okay? It's going to be something very simple about the start of something or have or of the birth of something. Here we have have a good time. So you could be having a very good time um, around this Valentine's Day weekend and day. Include. So someone may want to include you in having a good time. Abundance. All right. So expect fun, abundance. This person may be like, okay, I'm going to pay your way. You don't even have to worry about anything. Just come out. Gentle, heart, quieted heart. So this is somebody that is genuine and has a good heart guidance and with this being purple could be like divine guidance towards you feel it they may have some type of feelings for you they're really feeling this connection and get support so this person they're coming towards you as well because they feel like they may want to support you they may want to spoil you um, they could be divinely guided towards you there are some feelings that this person has that's coming towards you, towards some moon horizon. For some of you, it's going to be a Virgo, okay, a fellow Earth sign, some moon horizon. I'm also getting Leo and Pisces, some moon horizon, or they could just be embodying these energies. Intuitive person, very um, brave, leader-like qualities, confident. You know, this person could be very attractive as well. But expect communication from them. And it's going to be simple. It's going to be straight to the point. This person is going to be honest. They want to take you out, have a good time. You know, don't worry about anything. Just come. I'm hearing like wear your best outfit or something. So it may be somewhere fancy, you know. But I want to know, what are your feelings towards this person? Like, what are you thinking when this is going on please and thank you so overall energy is uncertainty choose who you will become if we part the deck we have changed in the night you change quickly so look you decided like look well i'm the type of person that want to be spoiled i'm the type of person that wants to have abundance and this type of relationship or situationship with this person Okay, it says a moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. Okay, um, there's an energy of you thinking back possibly on another relationship. Okay, some of you could be leaving one relationship and going to another. But it's like you decide in that moment who you want to be, what you want to accept. What do you want in life and in relationships or in situationships? Because for some of you, I'm getting like this is like a situationship and it's going to lead to more. 
okay? But you have nostalgia when you're thinking about the past. You could be leaving someone else or fully cutting off another situation, okay? Deciding right at this moment, you know, am I going to even entertain this other party? And I'm seeing you change that, saying, no, you're not, okay? But it's like you have cold feet, but then you go through with it, all right? It's almost like sleep on energy. And then the next day you good, you decide it, you know. It says you can't go back to yesterday, be in the present. See, you're going to be, you're going to think back, you know, to a past relationship, situationship, right? That you were involved with before this. And then you're just going to decide that, you know, this situation is what you want. This relationship is what you want. You're going to move forward. You're going to be in the present. Look, self-acceptance. Maybe this person really accepts you more. They're telling me to get you one more. Like, just accept who you are as well. Because I feel like this person really likes you for you. Like, I feel like you're a very, um, I keep hearing intuitive. But I feel like you're, um, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. It'll come back. Bottom deck is heal thyself enjoy so i see a healing energy when it comes to you healing yourself being open to um the possibilities of being treated better having a more loving relationship i also uh feel like you're a very creative person a very unique person okay here we have practical intuition so your intuition is booming right like like i just said you have a keen intuition all right. It's saying follow your intuition. That's going to lead you to the next steps. I see it leading you towards healing yourself and then the joy that comes from that. Here we have truth. So I feel like um, just stand in your truth, follow your intuition and accept yourself for who the fuck you are. I feel like this person that's coming towards you, they really accept you as who you are. They really um, appreciate you. I'm getting the quote, there is beauty and simplicity. So this is the type of person that may be just looking over at you and really admires you as well. You may have a, a, a pregnancy pop up as well. You may like start a family with this person. Let's delve into this energy for Valentine's Day weekend and Valentine's Day. Please and thank you, Spirit. Five of Cups. So something doesn't go as planned for someone. A drink may get spilled on someone um, during this time, or someone may be embarrassed by something, or you may see this with the nine of pentacles here and you're like, shit, that's why I stay single. That's why I'm getting like something happens while you and this person are out or whatever. And you may see like another couple go through something or you may see, you know, a date or something go wrong. Okay. And you're like, see, that's why look with the eight of pentacles. Like, see, that's why I don't be in relationships like that. Like you're telling this person something like I don't put up with that, you know, yeah, with the justice card here. And it's almost like maybe the person that's on the date or something, something happens and they react a certain way. And you're like, um, see, karma, you shouldn't treat people like that because karma is a bitch, something like that. With the queen of wands, yeah, you don't like some type of situation that goes on. Maybe someone gets caught up at a date or something while, while you all are out. And then, um, yeah, with the five of wands. Queen of Wands and Five of Wands. Yeah, somebody finds out they're a third party. Okay? And you could very well just be... This could be a conversation as well. Like, you know, well, why are you single? What happened in your last relationship? And you could be like, well, shit, this person embarrassed me. They had me as a third party. You know, I just... I don't like being embarrassed. You know, I don't like um, being snaked. You know? Secretly underhanded. Getting thrown under the bus, too, by someone else. So let's delve deeper. Four of Wands. Yeah, this person tells you, it's like they counteract. Like, well, yeah, I'm really looking for something stable too. Maybe this person tells you they bought a home with the Wheel of Fortune here. This person could be telling you, like, look, 
Um, well, I've been single for a while and I'm really looking for some stability. This person, like I said, they could have bought a home. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here, it's like this person um, maybe walked away from a feminine energy that they invested in. Okay, so this person could have been married, for example, and, you know, they left this person. Could be, yeah, with the temperance. I'm getting like this person was like um, very materialistic that they were dealing with. Seven of Pentacles. And it's like they really tried to, with the temperance and the Seven of Pentacles, they really tried to... Um, I'm beginning like the person was codependent on them and they really like took care of this person. But then at the same time, the person lacked respect for them and they were tired of trying to fix things, you know, over and over that they didn't break right over time. Yeah. And with the five of wands, it was like some arguments there, like on two different pages and a cycle completed with the two of them. And this person walked away. So you're going to tell your story and they're going to tell their story, right? Um, how you both ended up here together with the page of wands. Yeah. And this person is like, yeah, I feel like I deserve more. And you're like, yeah, I feel like I deserve more too. Bottom deck is the ace of wands. You're both going towards that new beginning. Queen of wands from either being placed in a third party or dealing with a difficult energy, right? I feel like they're the one that was dealing with the difficult feminine energy and you were the one that was placed as a third party in a prior relationship. With the high priestess and the sun during this date, during this time, you're not saying, neither one of you all saying, but I feel like you've already chosen each other. You're already happy together. And it's like you're surprising them with things and they're surprising you or you're happy the way that they're receiving um, these gestures or, you know, um, gifts or vice versa. But I see something to look forward to towards some moon horizon, um, a new beginning between the two of you as well. And a lot of sexual energy and be mindful. Um you both could be fertile during this time with that birth there. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you for your love and support to this channel. Until the end, peace and love.